We're here at the County Hall of Administration where the county's grand jury just la landed a bombshell report criticizing the Orange County Board of Supervisors for an ordinance change they did a year ago that left Supervisor Janet Wynn in charge of Cal Optima, the county's billion dollar health care agency that serves nearly a half million of the county's most threatened uh, residents. Uh, the grand jury recommends that the Board of Supervisors step up to the plate and put all five board members on that health care agency, the same they do for the county's billion dollar transportation agency. I'm going to be pushing for all five members to be on the board because mm -hmm. I just didn't think from the outset under any model it was, a, in, it was appropriate to delegate that to one supervisor. My gut is that it's time to have all the, all the members of the board on that agency. I served four years on that board. I believe I was a hardworking, attentive, interested member of that body. It ran really well when I was there for four years and you know I can only have people judge the record as it is. The point is really that we have to make sure that Cal Optima is running efficiently, running most effectively as best it can be. Or if they need any kind of legislative fix, I'm there ready to support that fix. It, it, governance over Cal Optima was an essentially an ordinance changing that in right. a radical way right. was drafted by uh, industry representatives who then held fundraisers for Supervisor Wynn. What's your sense of that? Well, okay, let's, let's break that down. I mean, first of all, let's talk about drafting an ordinance. I mean, I was a legislator for six years. <laughs> Interest groups draft legislation all the time. Fair. If I just rubber stamp it, pass it on, right. and I'm doing it at the behest of an organization, right. then that is probably inappropriate. Now, when you combine that kind of policy making with fundraising, especially concurrent with the passage of an ordinance where they got great gains, like they got a represent, representative, it, it, it makes people say, hey, what was this all about? People will question it. There's just no doubt about it. And, uh, Would you have a lobbyist write an ordinance that triggers a major change in an agency and then, with the, in a short window, have them hold a fundraiser for you? Um, I, I, I've never done such a thing. The, um, Why not? Well, I... It, just the way I've operated has never ended up in those circumstances, I guess. There were campaign fundraisers held in very close connection to that ordinance being changed. What's your general reaction to their highlighting of that connection in the report and, and just that overall uh, trend in government? Uh, you know, I can only speak for myself, Norberto, so I, I don't know if you would see something like that occurring in my approach to this office and so that's all I'll say about that.